Mind your P's and Q's. What does this phrase mean? Is its origin related to pubs, printing presses, or children learning to read and write? What does it mean to fly off the handle? What connection does this phrase have with an axe? All this and more coming up. But first, do subscribe to The English Nut on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you. To mind your P's and Q's is to mind your manners, to be polite and well-behaved, to mind your language. Here's how you can use the phrase in a sentence. Her mother told her to mind her P's and Q's when they had guests over for dinner. He had to mind his P's and Q's in front of his father, who was a strict disciplinarian. Visitors were instructed to mind their P's and Q's during an audience with the Queen. He minded his P's and Q's when he went to meet the parents of his prospective bride. The origin of this phrase is not known, but one plausible theory is that it comes from teaching children to read and write. The lowercase p and q are mirror images of each other, and young students sometimes mix them up. The earliest citation of the phrase is from the 1756 Life and Memoirs of Mr. Ephraim Tristram Bates. Mind your P's and your Q's and always travel in the autumn. Away for Gloucester, Brother Firelock. Huzzah! I wish I am not robbed though. As you can see, the phrase is written with capital P apostrophe S and capital Q apostrophe S in this quote. That's an acceptable way of writing it. The phrase may be written as mind your capital P S and capital Q S without the apostrophes as well. Another early example of the usage of the phrase is from a 1763 poem called The Ghost by British poet Charles Churchill. On all occasions next the chair he stands for service of the mayor and to instruct him how to use his A's and B's and P's and Q's. Another appearance of the phrase is in Thomas Franklin's 1776 play, The Contract. In a comic scene, one of the characters, Martin, tells his employer, Colonel Lovemore, Hush, hush, methinks I hear the rustling of silks. Mind your P's and Q's, sir. Don't forget your sighs and raptures now, for heaven's sake. John Williams wrote under the pseudonym of Anthony Paskin in Hamiltoniad around 1804. Would I were metamorphosed to a flea, I'd hop to Washington with cruel glee, steal in the Galagaskins of our chief, and make his excellency twist with grief. Watch when he wrote of diplomatic news, and make him careless of his P's and Q's. The chief referred to here is US President Thomas Jefferson. Galagaskins means breeches or trousers. A variation of the theory that the phrase relates to teaching children to read and write comes from the world of printing. In the days of movable type, it was difficult for printers' apprentices to distinguish between the lowercase p and q. This confusion was compounded by the fact that the movable type was mirror reversed from the final printed result. One argument that is put forth against both these versions of the theory is that the lowercase d and b are also mirror images of each other and create a similar kind of confusion. Yet nobody ever said, mind your d's and b's. Yet another theory claims that p's and q's in the phrase are short for pleases and thank yous. This makes sense as the phrase is about being polite and saying please and thank you is integral to polite language. However, there is no evidence to back the theory. Another popular theory is that the phrase is short for mind your pints and quarts. In old English pubs, drinks were served by the pint or quart. The server would use chalk on a slate board to note how many quarts or pints they were serving a customer. So mind your P's and Q's might have been an instruction to them from the manager to keep track of how much a customer had consumed so they could bill them accurately. While this too is an interesting theory, there is once again no proof to back it up. To fly off the handle means to get very angry over a minor matter or for no good reason, to lose self-control. 
You could say my client flew off the handle when I told him I was slightly delayed by traffic. Or Vineet was known to fly off the handle and do crazy things. Or when the boss flew off the handle, it was best not to be anywhere near her. This American phrase refers to a loose axe head literally flying off its handle. The phrase first appeared in print in 1843 in the Attaché or Sam Slick in England by Thomas C. Halliburton. He flies right off the handle for nothing. Do come up with sentences using the phrases mind your P's and Q's and fly off the handle. Write them in the comments section. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.